This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi there, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with the CBS 4 News Update. Extra officers are at Glades Middle School today in Miramar as police investigate the credibility of a shooting threat. Police say over a dozen students received a text message saying there would be a shooting at Glades Middle School in Miramar today. Police are conducting interviews working to determine if the source is credible. They say the person who made the threats will be charged when found. A man faced a judge this morning after police say he touched himself inappropriately in front of a 16-year-old Dunkin' Donuts employee. The alleged crime happened Thursday at the donut shop on Northwest 159th Street and 57th Avenue in Miami Gardens. Dayron Fuentes is charged with lewd and lascivious exhibition in front of a child. Police say he committed the act in front of the girl, then called over a co-worker to witness it. President Trump announced a second summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. During a State of the Union address, the president said he credits his bold new diplomacy for keeping America safe. Mr. Trump said progress has been made regarding North Korea's nuclear weapons program, but U.S. intelligence says there is no evidence the country will eliminate weapons altogether. The second summit is scheduled for the end of the month. Music's Behind biggest awesome. night is just four Lady days Gaga. away and just added to the dual. list of performers, the one and only Lady Gaga. The first Not only is she nominated for an Oscar for her role in A Star is Born. Gaga has been nominated for five Grammys, including Song of the Year and Record of the Year for her hit song, Shallow, from the movie. Now, CBS4 weather. The nice weather continues. High pressure and control of our forecast, and it's going to stay that way right into the weekend. We do have a weak cold front, or I should say a weakening cold front, that is going to bring up the breeze for the weekend. But in the meantime, lots of sun for your Thursday. Highs in the low 80s. Pretty much the same story for Friday as well. We could see a lone shower pass by on Friday, but the terrain chances overall pretty low. Then over the weekend, this fading front fades out. Cooler air doesn't arrive with it, but the breeze does. Typically, when the breeze picks up out of the east here in South Florida, we get a few showers blowing in off the ocean, and that will probably be the case this weekend as well. So temperature-wise, in the low 80s going into the weekend, overnight lows in the 60s. Ocean breeze arrives on Saturday. Uh, not a weekend wash-up by any means, but a few showers and a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures staying pretty warm. Elliot. CBSMiami.com and to CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.